Hi everybody. I hope you very well. Um, today I want to talk about high functioning anxiety. I suffer from that. Like I, I suffer from high functioning anxiety. So what, what does that mean? Um, so that means I constantly have to be busy or I constantly have to have something going on. So if something is done, then I'm literally starting the next project. And once this is done, then I'm starting the next project because that's how I function. The minute I feel like I don't have anything to do, it's like I feel like something is wrong. What 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 am I forgetting? And it's it's quite interesting because I had a discussion recently with someone very dear to me. And that's when I actually named it. Why Why do I have high functioning anxiety so this goes back to obviously my childhood and it's interesting because i don't really talk about my my childhood so i grew up um in a house where i was the only girl and i had brothers only so being the only girl um it was you're cooking you're cleaning the house you start the laundry um you go back to cooking once that is done you, you clean you dish out um, people are eating. I couldn't eat. Um, I would always eat last or after the fact. Then I had to do finish the laundry, go put them up, um, and then clean the toilet um, or the laundry room, and then go and eat, and then go do dishes, and then maybe start prepping for for supper. And it was always something, something because there was always something to be done. So there was always never a time to relax. And um, once I'm sleeping. It was like, did I put off the stove? Did I, did I, did, did I, did I make sure that all the windows are closed? It's like my brain was still busy. And it's just because of how I was raised and how I grew up. Um, at the time, obviously, being a Shero person, it's, or culturally, it's like, you need to keep busy so that you are a good woman or you become a good wife or so forth, right? And so I got all these skills, but the one skill that I never picked up was how to actually relax. So in my older age, I always find myself busy. And when I was having this discussion, it's like, so delegation? I cannot delegate. I don't know how to ask for help. I could, but there's always that voice of like, I'll always do it better than that person. And so that's when I actually like, I have high functioning anxiety and it's, and it's stressful because as much as I'm productive, I'm really exhausted at the end of the day or there are times I'm so exhausted, I don't even want to get out of bed. And so it's interesting. So what I've done is I've started making notes of days I want to take off or like very chilled, like my weekends, there are days I'm just having no guilty weekends off. Like my Sundays, I will sleep my Sundays in and just do nothing and be happy about it. Um, and um, this is actually, it was, I think, two weekends ago that I've started doing that. And it's it was weird because I had to constantly tell myself, stop, 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 stop. You need the rest. You need the rest. Because the body keeps the score. The body always remembers, like, we are tired. We're exhausted. The, you're going to collapse. You know, there are days when I'm just so exhausted and I don't know what's happening. And I feel like I'm getting sick. But maybe it's just my body telling me, we need a break. We've been on go, 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 go mode. So... I just want to tell anybody that relates to my story, um, if you feel like you constantly have to do something and finish something and do something, go back. Think about what is it that you grew up doing because your system got used to that and you need to just unlearn that by being mindful about, I don't have to do this now or I'll do this later and let me learn to relax. I need to relax. You tell yourself, I need to relax. This is good for my body. This is good for me so that I'm more productive. Um, because the, 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 the notion of, I can't pour from an empty cup is so true, but for some people who have the high functioning anxiety, it, you don't even realize you're empty. It's literally like, oh, it, this is done. So I'm being filled by this and this is done. This is, it's really, really guys, it's unhealthy. I'm a product of that. I know. And, um, you don't realize that until you have a conversation with someone and you self reflect and you're like, huh. I need to take care of me better. I don't have to finish all the projects. I don't have to do everything at the same time. I don't have to. It's pressure that I'm putting on me, but it's just um, a conditioning or conditioning that I that I have 
picked up because of my childhood and because of being the best or being perfect and you know somehow slightly fits in with ocd a little bit as well so it's okay to take a break i'm learning how to do that and um, it's hard it's very hard and it's also hard to ask for help especially if this is who you are as a person because you feel like they're gonna judge me or they're gonna think i'm not doing a good job or they're gonna you know um so learn with me be on this journey with me take time out um Take a breather. I'm learning how to take a breather by just having a full lazy day um, where I then am more productive the next day. So ask for help. I'm learning how to. It's difficult. But your body will let you know if you don't take a break. So thank you for listening. That is, the, Those are the symptoms of high-functioning anxiety. And those are the reasons why it also happens because of how you grew up and what you were supposed to do as a child. And maybe because of strict parents, maybe because you were the only female or whatever the reason is, um, where parents also maybe felt that it was appropriate for you to be that, not necessarily because they were abusing you, but it was just sort of expected. So yeah, take care of you. Be great. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you again. Okay.